Gemini's. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of December 2018 career and finance, love and romance, spiritual guidance reading, whichever spirit wants to discuss for the first half of December 2018. So when I look at the first Lenormand spread we have got this particular Gemini energy saying I'm really hoping to meet and connect with another. I'm really hoping my wishes will come true when it comes to meetings or negotiations. Spiritual advice is saying be careful what you wish for. Make sure you do more research when it comes to creating a new chapter in your life. Gemini's. Divine timing is at work and you are in the space by which you currently need to be. Um, you need to think clearly about, okay, nope, this Gemini is thinking clearly about bringing an ending to what was kind words, messages, flowers, or gifts. It could be that kind words and messages kind of came to a quick and swift ending. And now this Gemini is left here thinking about that communication, wanting to text, tweet, communicate in some way, hoping, wishing, and praying to spirit for that to transpire. Because they believe that this is a karmic connection and they're contemplating a new direction in their life. This Gemini energy for the first half of December 2018. So in the first week or so of December 2018, this particular Gemini is saying, okay, I've learned a lot about myself through this connection, through this path, through this situation or circumstance. I am strong enough now to bring a quick and swift ending to what I was wishing for before. But then we have uh, celebrations. Kind words and messages when it comes to the home environment. It's almost like this Gemini can't stop thinking about a situation that ended because it feels very karmic. It feels very spiritual. It feels like they still want to have that communication or someone does with Gemini. So by the second or third week of December 2018, we have uh, children on the mind and a commitment marriage partnership contract. There could be playfulness and wanting to discuss with someone, partnership, children, the future. By mid-December 2018, this Gemini is shining brightly, feeling like a kid again, enjoying the path that they're in, enjoying their communications with others. And then boom, in the outcome position, we have two coffins representing spiritual endings. So this is really interesting. It's like they can't let go of a spiritual transformation through a connection or situation. But they are wanting to either send messages or communicate when it comes to their home environment, when it comes to maybe messages of the past that they used to be hoping for. Somehow this communication could kick back in in the first or second week of December 2018. It becomes very playful and then there are thoughts of commitment partnership or contract it could be that someone's very playful about a new path when it comes to business and they're playfully headed towards signing a contract either way by mid-december 2018 this Gemini is feeling really good and they're loving the communication they're continuing the communication and two people or two circumstances or two situations both go full circle a final ending comes spiritually to a situation so when i look at the second lenormand spread we have someone who's feeling burdened because maybe they miss a connection with someone who has children where there's children involved or they're feeling burdened by children or home or a situation where they are committed um, they're feeling burdened because they cannot let go of a playful connection with another yes they're thinking about communicating texting tweeting because they want to get to the truth of a situation with the moon here their love and romance energies are being lit up with the star card. They're very hopeful as they think about their home environment and their long-term future. 
This particular Gemini has the key to success if they'd like to communicate out with someone or if they are praying to spirit, that communication could come towards the Gemini in the first week or two of December 2018. But I feel like Gemini is also saying, you know, I want to move down this new path. I want to go in new directions, but I'm worried about the energies of the snake. Lies and deceit when it comes to sitting and waiting. Someone who's sitting and waiting maybe at a distance, not in your current life path and home environment with you. And this person, this situation, this circumstance, and the fact that uh, lies and deceit are involved is what's causing anxiety. Now, when I look at the end of... The Lenormand spread spirit is saying that this particular Gemini does want to travel and move towards a new path, a new person, a new offer, opportunity, or direction. Either the Gemini is this well-dressed masculine energy or the Gemini is thinking of this well-dressed masculine energy. They are wanting to learn more about the situation. They are safe, this Gemini in the space by which they currently reside, but they are wondering about travel or moving. This particular Gemini may be a little bit bored, discontent, or mischievous. But they want to find the clarity. They want to learn more so they can either sweep away from this connection altogether or they can move forward with this connection. So it's kind of getting to a tipping point for this particular uh, Gemini. Now, I just saw the playfulness card. So spirit saying to recapture your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Allow yourself to be playful and to have fun and to communicate with others in the highest best way without needing to try and make something go a certain way, okay? Yes. In the beginning, we have a Gemini who is trying to free themselves in the beginning of December 2018. Spirit saying it's time to take back control of your life, your mind, your thoughts. Uh, this particular Gemini may be uh, have a love life that's being affected by children at this time, by a commitment, a partnership. They are celebrating great things in their life. They're happy, but they're also thinking about something that they were wishing for before. Interesting. So in their relationship sector in the first couple weeks of December 2018, we do have a love life ascending to a higher level of commitment. Even though there are children involved, even though this Gemini is trying to free themselves, they want to come together and discuss the commitment, the partnership. Now, this Gemini is going to be paying close attention to the red flags because they are trying to free themselves from something, but they're also being cautious when it comes to moving forward. Yes, in their actions position, they are taking action to release an X. Spiritual advice for Geminis in the first half of December 2018 is to clear your energy of someone from the past. Free yourself and take back control of your life. Yes, children are going to be here forever when it comes to this commitment. The commitment to that whole situation will always be there. But what is it you want to rise to a higher level when it comes to relationships? And what is it uh, that worries you? What are the signs that are cautioning you? Wow. By mid-December 2018, this particular Gemini is thinking about marriage. Or they're thinking about a situation involving marriage. Wanting to get married. Someone else may be in a marriage or partnership. And they're trying to pay attention to the red flags. They're thinking of children involved. They're wanting to raise a commitment to a higher level, but at the same time, they need to free themselves from someone or something from their past. Because if they don't free themselves from their past, they can't fairly, very well step into a new path with someone else because their energies aren't available. So this particular Gemini subconsciously is focusing on Am I wearing a false mask? Is this person wearing a false mask? I want to raise the commitment to a higher level and free myself from an old path. I want to take back control of my life. But is there going to be deception here? Should I be worried about deceptive energies? So day-to-day -day spirit saying, remain playful. As you are remaining playful, 
you'll become more clear about your path. You'll be able to more clearly see the red flags should there be any in the first half of December 2018, Gemini. In your inner strengths position, Spirit's saying we're going to give you the strength through your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations to call in the correct soulmate. But again, it's all going to come down to this Gemini freeing themselves from an X, clearing their mind, allowing themselves to be playful, and maybe even watching the red flags of their own self. Am I ready to raise this partnership to a higher level of commitment? This Gemini thinks that someone is the right one. They do want to meet. They do want to negotiate. And Spirit is saying, look, it's safe for you to open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Trust in spirit, and spirit will bless you and watch over you. And you'll be able to clearly decide who and or what you need to release and heal in your life. As you forgive, and as you learn what it is you learned about yourself through your connections in the past. So by the second week of December 2018, Spirit saying divine timing is at work. Pay attention to the red flags, but allow yourself to be playful. Someone here may be focused on financial issues, and they may become a focus during this connection. Continue to make the effort. Focus on your own finances and know that if someone's meant to be, they will be. But you've got to continue to heal and forgive whoever needs to be forgiven in your life. So take time to retreat and to make sure that you work on any addictions that you may have. Are you addicted to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or a train of thought? Now it's time to open your heart, to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, to be playful, to have fun, and to discuss what it is you'd like to see transpire in your future, maybe with another. Know that you cannot control the situation, so allow it to unfold as it, as it will. It is a, a, a commitment, a partnership, a connection that was meant to be. So whether or not it works out with this person in the first half of December 2018, Spirit saying, remain optimistic. As new people may be set to come in as well than just the one you've been focused on or the two you've been focused on, Gemini. Yes, two people, you and someone else have not seen, seen things from the same perspective for whatever reason, but there's still a desire, I feel, on both people's haves, behaves, to come back together. So by mid-December 2018, as you open your heart and express your love, Gemini, and really be honest about your feelings, your emotions, and your desires, as you work on a partnership, as you flirt and understand that you deserve love, that you are indeed a lovable person, go ahead and connect with your friends, but make sure to love yourself first. There will be a passionate connection mid December 2018 for this Gemini. But then there may be a separation. Time apart. Thoughts of, oh my gosh, this is my soulmate. Oh my gosh. They find me attractive, I find them attractive, and there's an insane amount of magnetic attraction here. And yet, I need to release my ex. Because my ex if I don't, again, there won't be enough chemistry and attraction and romance available for someone new. It could be that this Gemini and the person they're hoping to connect with and, and come together with at some point both have to bring something full circle before they can move on in a path together. So they've got to both take off their masks and really see is there love here or not I do feel like some Gemini's will be sweeping away from a connection after they get together with that person because that person has helped for them to free themselves 
But now, I don't know. Let's clarify. I'm going to bring in the Gilded Tarot for clarification for this Gemini energy, please, dear Lord, spirit guides, and angels, for the next, for the first half of December 2018. Please clarify these messages, provide any other spiritual guidance or information that Gemini should know of. Okay. So the High Priestess is helping to guide you in your path ahead. She's helping for you to free yourself from your thoughts, to set new goals and intentions in your thoughts about your future, to manifest new playful connections, exciting new goals and directions. And the High Priestess will eventually bring you to the truth of whether or not you have freed yourself from an old connection. Now again, there could be children involved in a situation so in the first week and a half or two this particular Gemini may be feeling energies of heartache tied to a situation involving children in the relationship sector there's a desire to raise a commitment or connection to a higher level but with the lovers energies there needs to be patience and observation it is strongly suggested that you don't give in to the passion and lust without building a solid foundation first so come together and take your time yes this particular Gemini is going to be paying attention to the red flags because they are fearing that someone is offering them an empty cup and they want to get to the truth of the situation they need to still take action by mid-December 2018 to clear their energy of an old financial path, an old home situation, an old creative idea, an old connection, a passionate connection. Because emotionally, I think <laughs> with the world card in the next, gosh, in the, gosh. Maybe by the 8th of December 2018, this person's going to say, I know what I want. I'm beyond the heartache. I'm beyond a situation and worrying about the kids. I've freed myself and taken back control of my life, and now I'm looking for my truth. I've gone full circle, and now I'm really thinking about coming into a partnership. And the world par portal is opening up for this Gemini. But subconsciously, they need to really think about who and or what is or is not the right one for them to make sure they themselves are not wearing a false mask and going after a passionate connection to forget about the past. Day to day, it's about remaining playful. So this Gemini may be connecting with someone who's financially abundant and secure or this Gemini saying, I'm good where I'm at. I'm financially secure. I'm very independent and single. I'm going to remain playful, but I'm going to pay attention to the red flags because if somebody's offering me an empty cup of love, I'm going to free myself, get to the truth, and know that through my prayers and affirmations, I will manifest the right one as I lay down an old path and release myself from an ex. You guys may be receiving communications about a child who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Maybe your soulmate is dealing with a child who's asking them for money, who's trying to find their way. In a three-card summary to my right, Spirit saying in the first week of December 2018, it's important, wow, some Geminis may be dealing with someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or they're listening to their intuition as they are healing and setting new goals and intentions, as they are focusing on a situation where there is maybe passionate communication or fun communication. They're thinking of things from every perspective while they try to heal and release from themselves from sadness or depression. Have hope. That you can let go of sadness and frustration, worries, and concerns of the past. Listen to your intuition as you manifest beautiful new beginnings for yourself. 
Geminis, give all of your heart. Remain playful and open. There could be a Gemini who's connecting with someone who has the Empress energies, where they are themselves creating new, exciting things in their path, giving birth to new ideas in their path. Someone who's very spiritual. There's a bit of a warning here, either for Gemini or for someone that Gemini is dealing with. Someone, I feel like Gemini has gone full circle when it comes to people who are not completely honest when it comes to an addiction to a person, place, circumstance, situation, or substance. Now it's time to connect with others in a fair and balanced way. Now it's time with the justice uh, as a major arcana to open your heart to another and to maybe think about engaging in a new partnership, a new direction, or getting engaged in general. In the first couple weeks of December 2018, we do have someone celebrating a passionate connection, wanting to get engaged because of the passion involved, celebrating, having a good time, and yet, waiting still on a path they put a lot of energy into, trying to get to the truth of the situation. Moving towards success when it comes to financial abundance and security. Moving away from a path that no longer serves you, getting excited about a new path and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel where the wheel of fortune can finally turn in your favor. Gemini's, your ship is coming in in the second week or so of December 2018. You be, could be having a very playful and fun connection with someone who's financially abundant, secure, and independent. Free yourself and take back control over your mind and pay attention to the truth. Are you offering a cup of love, a true cup of love? Are they offering a true cup of love? or a solid offer or opportunity. Ground yourself so you can get to your truth and celebrate the fact that you are freeing yourself from troubled waters and are moving yourself towards a soulmate connection that you're manifesting. There will be new financial offers or opportunities. There will be a more fulfilling path ahead, but you've gotta make sure you remain open. Don't worry about finances. Don't let finances hold you back make you feel stuck from being able to follow a new and exciting, passionate path ahead. There's playfulness when it comes to a situation involving children or someone from the past. And in the outcome position, again, we have a, a child that may be having a difficult time tied to a soulmate connection. I feel like this Gemini is saying, I now know what my goals and intentions are. I'm going to take my time to step towards them. I'm going to clearly speak my truth with others. And I'm going to not be afraid to use my sword to cut away from a path that causes me anxiety or worry. I'm stepping towards a happily ever after. And I'm going to clear my mind of that which doesn't fulfill me. I know that I have the major arcana judgment on my behalf in the first half of December 2018. Therefore, I can let go of old sadness and regret and I can make better decisions for my future. I will have the strength to speak my truth and cut those out of my path who do not serve me. I will have the strength to deal with a connection or to communicate with an air sign, feminine energy, who has, yeah, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in their chart. I'm going to open my heart to the idea of a new foundation by which I may have been dragging my feet. I'm going to make what feels like a difficult decision. But I know that I cannot manipulate the outcome. I know that things are falling away and it's time for me to move on. But that I've got to let go of the energies of fantasy. It's time for reality. There could be a Gemini who's wanting to get closer to someone, a feminine energy maybe, who has fire in her chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. And she may be with someone who has fire in their chart as well. Or Gemini may have fire in their chart and they want to come together with another. 
but we just went from the nine to the ten of swords. So you've got to let energies of heartache uh, dissipate in order to step into a new path of romance. You've got to get clear about whether or not you've been offering an empty cup of deception or vice versa. And you need to use the first half of December 2018 to get to the truth of this soulmate. To simultaneously release your ex and lay down maybe even a career path to move in a completely new direction. And this, this process is going to happen anyway because it's a spiritual ending. It's meant to end. Endings are taking place. So free yourself. Whether or not someone's the right one, this person could very much help you to find happiness and joy as you step into a new path, with or without them. So remember, keep your heart open. There are people who are going to want to be around you, to support you, to guide you, to be playful with you, to have fun with you. So give thanks to those connections. Let them know you care, at the very least. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list is in the box below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and happy Thanksgiving.